Hey friends, I have another psalm for you, Psalm 81. And this is a psalm of rejoicing and praise because the Lord had heard the cry of his people. The psalmist says this, Psalm 81, sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music, strike the tambourine, play the melodious harp and lyre, sound the ram's horn at the new moon and when the moon is full on the day of our feast. This is a decree for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. He established it as a statute for Joseph when he went out against Egypt, where we heard a language we did not understand. He says, I removed the burden from their shoulders. Their hands were set free from the basket. In your distress, you called and I rescued you. I answered you out of a thundercloud. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I'll warn you, if you would but listen to me, O Israel, you shall have no foreign God among you. You shall not bow down to an alien God. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you up out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to me. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own devices. If my people would but listen to me, if Israel would follow my ways, how quickly would I subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes? Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him and their punishment would last forever. But you would be fed with the finest of wheat, with honey from the rock, I would satisfy you. So this is a word of praise and encouragement to the people of Israel to lift their voices, to praise the Lord for his, for his salvation. He says that the, the, that the people in their distress called out to the Lord and he rescued them. And then he says the lesson to be learned is to respect and honor the Lord, to keep no other foreign, no other God, to have no other gods before him but to serve him lest he turn us over uh, to, to, uh, our own, to follow the devices of our own stubborn hearts. And in that, we experience bondage and slavery and brokenness. He says, verse 13, if my people would but listen to me, if Israel would follow my ways, how quickly I would subdue their enemies and turn their hand against my hand against their foes and bless them. So we need to keep our hearts and our minds and our lives fixed on the Lord and serve him only. Hope that encourages you today.